It was in July of 1991, uh, which was shortly after Linus had released the 0 0.09 version of the kernel, uh, that I started playing with Linux. Heard about it on, I think, Usenet, downloaded it from Finland, started playing with it, thought it was really neat. Um, and at that point, there was very limited transatlantic internet bandwidth. Uh, so it was very painful to download all these packages from Finland. Uh, and so I decided, well, we need to do something about this. And I used my personal workstation that was on my desk, which was tsx11.mit.edu. Uh, and I set up a mirror archive of all the kernel sources on my private workstation. And that was the first um, US Linux FTP site that came into existence. Everyone knew that someone had to be the head of this work group, and Linus was the natural head given that he did the original core Linux uh, kernel, and Linus was someone who was a very, very good leader. He's someone who's actually quite humble. You know, he doesn't try to take credit for stuff that he doesn't do. To be fair, it's very easy to say, if we were in charge, we wouldn't do these things. But then again, we're not getting all these email messages saying, please, let me add this new feature. Um, and so I don't know what I would actually do if I were really in charge. There are some people who got lucky, joined the right company at the right time, managed to participate in the IPO lottery. Um, and there are some people who got millions of dollars. And there are some people who got billions of dollars. And, you know, did those people actually contribute more to the company than those other people? In some cases, they just happened to contribute the right amount of investment money at the right time. And I think that's a generic problem. It's not unique to the open source community. Um, and I, I don't know that we actually have a good solution for that.